What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sleazy here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna roast the ever living hell out of that park place because I think this is just nothing but a clickbait article here designed to make everybody go woo. Because Dragon Age Veilguard is absolutely going to be a disaster because nobody wants this these woke games anymore. Nobody wants to play it. They've destroyed these franchises. Even the people who tried to defend them originally are coming back to roast them. And we'll talk about that first. But I want to say, I'm going to roast Park Place by the end of this video for this article right here because I think it is disingenuous at best. And we don't need clickbait articles like this to absolutely roast the, weft, the woke design companies. But here we go. Former Dragon Age lead writer admits the Veilguard's art style leaves me cold after bashing gamers for criticizing the character designs. These have got to be some of the worst characters. Concord was pretty bad, but this is this is really, really bad here. But former Dragon Age lead writer David Gator admitted that Dragon Age Veilguard's art style leaves me cold after previously bashing gamers who criticized the game's character designs. That's right, it's wrong for anyone to do it except for them. You cannot hate these people enough. Over on Blue Sky, Gator posted on October 14th, the females aren't hot enough, yet because they've clued into the notion this is obviously incel behavior they swapped out unattractive for masculine and thus transgender because that's a framing which makes them seem political instead of prawn based but we all know what they mean he added in subsequent posts i am he and here i am recalling how this has been a thing ever since some dude whined 10 years ago about cassandra actually being a man oh my god okay Posting over and over and over about her giant jaw and posting phrenology pics to scientifically prove what all these guys. I mean, he's that that that's correct. Her giant man jaw. <laughs> but here's the post. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing to me how they will they will quote the fandom menace and talk about. Uh, uh, Gamergate, like it's still a, a giant fucking thing, but nobody that was part of that is really even around today. Nobody that was actually involved in the original Gamergate or the fandom menace is actually around doing anything today. But it, it's like they use this as the straw man argument to say everybody's exactly the same, even though they talk about being diverse, they still group people up into categories and how they talk about inclusion, and yet. Wait, refer back to the categories comment. But then again, he goes on to say, Do I like everything I see? Not really. The art style leaves me a bit cold. But then the art styles change with every Dragon Age. And as before, I'm sure I'll warm to it eventually. The game has changed. The news on choices from previous games have gives me pause. None of this would stop me, however. Yeah, so this is all his like seal clap. I'm going to pretend to throw money at the game. Pretend this is going to be something fantastic. And it's really not going to be. It's going to be an absolute disaster because, again, this is probably some... It looks like it's a dude who has the... Uh, oh, shit, what's that Halloween store? Oh, Spirit Halloween costumes he just glued onto his head and painted his skin. Like, that's what this looks like. I wish I was joking. This... the Oof. I, I would... Uh, I would not put this out as a AAA studio and put my name on this. Not, not in any way, shape, or form. But anyway, jumping back over to uh, that the. Uh, uh, but jumping back over to the other article where they're they're trying to tell us that Nvidia, including Dragon Age Veilguard, in bundles, is a sign of poor sales. Now, look, it may have been a while since any of you guys have actually bought a GPU or, or done a subscription service. But these companies team up with developers all the time. I remember getting Black Ops and Halo when you bought a graphics card. Halo, back in the day, one of the best-selling franchises. We're, we're not talking about the, the new garbage that they put out for free. We're talking Halo 2, Halo 1. 
Well, okay. No, I don't think I got it with Halo 1. But Halo 3, even Reach, and the Call of Duties, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, the original Black Ops, though they used to actually bundle those with graphics cards. That That is a real thing. It is a marketing strategy to boost sales for your game. Because, hey, look, hey, I got this free game with my, my graphics card and my subscription service. Let's, let's give this a try. Oh, my God, I like this game. Let's uh, tell all my friends how much I like this game. And then they tell three or four of their friends that one free game that no, those five people haven't bought has now turned into four sales. And then, of course, the more people to play, the more it rates on the charts, the higher and the more people that know about it, the more it gets public publicity about it. It's, it's a cascading thing. So when I see that park place try and say, as mounting evidence points to poor sales, we could just say they're poor sales. BioWare partners with NVIDIA to give Dragon Age Veilguard away for free. For free. NVIDIA announced it partnered with BioWare and EA to give Dragon Age the Veilguard away for free with the purchase of a GE Force Now Ultimate Bundle as evidence grows that the game is not selling well. See, you could have just said included it with the purchase of GE Force. That, that is a legitimate thing that companies have done for decades. Decades upon decades. That, that's nothing new. So I think this is absolutely disingenuous and absolute bullshit that that park place to try and make it seem worse than it already is. Like it's already going to be terrible. You don't need to make it more terrible or rur rur. Yes, <laughs> that, that's exactly what you're doing. You're just adding extra errs onto terrible. But on its blog, NVIDIA shared Fight for Thetis future at ultimate quality this fall as new existing members who purchase six months of GE Force Now Ultimate can get Bioware and Electronic Arts Epic RPG Dragon Age Veilguard releases on October 31st. The GE Force Now Ultimate Bundle costs $100 for six months. You know how many people are going to pick up this game and play it for a week or two and you've just put this into a bundle? Let's go back to Sony here. Let's go back to, to Microsoft Store. If you bundle this together, you're more than likely going to get more players because people don't want to pay the $70 for games. They'd rather pay the subscription service and play when they want. Ultimately, it comes out to be a better deal for the companies themselves because they're still getting that money no matter what. You might not buy the game, but they're still getting the money. All right, but they go to say on for six months along with Dragon Age of Veilguard includes GE Force RTX 4080 rig, RTX on. And access to the RTX 4080 servers and up to 4K resolution, 120 FPS, no ads, and eight hour session length. The bundle is only available to purchase. Okay, yeah, cool. Don't care about any of that. Yeah, you only get it if you buy the $100 package. You know why it's not in the free package or the priority package? That's $50. It's because they're making money off the $99 one. Who wrote this fucking article? John Trent. Hey, this dude's been doing this for a very long time. He knows better than do this type of clickbait bullshit. All right, that, that's enough. I, I know I'm an old gamer. I know some of my viewers are old gamers, and you guys have seen the bundled collections or even the games that used to come on disc where they give you an entire separate disc of a demo. <laughs> like, Does anybody remember that? You'd buy one game and you'd get a disc demo that would have, like, the first half of the game. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know John is old enough to remember that. So this feels disingenuous to me. But I would, look, I don't think he's wrong in that Dragon Age Veilguard is doing absolutely disastrous in pre-purchases. And it's going to be terrible and have terrible numbers in sales. But this article just feels like bullshit to me. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section, guys. While you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. Until the next one, guys. Be easy like sleazy.